Hello everyone and welcome back to the LEGO CPA. Now earlier this week I had I looked at the LEGO Ninjago City, the newest city that is actually one of four city landscapes that they have. And that made me kind of interested in them because there was quite a bit of buzz over this, uh, this new LEGO Ninjago City. I know some people liked it and some people didn't like it as much. I really did appreciate some people in the comments uh, one person especially letting me know how the Ninjago community is feeling about these sets. Like I said, some people like them. The major consensus is that the minifigures are pretty awesome, especially with a couple of those minifigures, which not the exact minifigures, but some of them are in this set here, Temple of the Dragon Energy Cores. Once again, another Lego Ninjago set. And I took a little bit to look at this. This isn't my first look through of this however this is my first review uh with you all on the channel so we have another lego ninjago set this one comes out in only a couple weeks actually it's coming at us very quickly very soon june 1st 2023 for 94.99 and with with the trend that we're seeing with lego sets this is actually a fairly solid price point especially with what we're getting now, I don't, once again, my ignorance is at an all-time high with these LEGO Ninjago sets as far as which part, of the, uh, which part of the show or movie these are coming from. And I actually did see there is a new show coming, which I am excited for all you LEGO Ninjago fans. Probably going to get even more LEGO sets from those. However, this very beautiful set, honestly, for, for not knowing much of LEGO Ninjago, just the aesthetics of the set overall are really nice. It's a thousand, about a thousand thirty pieces, price per piece, fantastic with that ninety four ninety nine. I'm kind of surprised they didn't just go with an even ninety nine ninety nine. It's kind of an interesting price point. Mini figures, based on the picture, it looks like we have five mini figures. Five mini figures for a hundred dollar set. It's pretty solid. This actually, this one actually makes me think of the Bad Batch shuttle that we have for our Star Wars Lego community fans. However. Five minifigs for $94.99. In my opinion, that's a great, a great minifigure to price scale. It is eight plus 617 VIP points for you Lego VIP members. And then we can look at all the the high points of the set. Actually, six minifigures. I did miss one. There's a temple toy, four floors, packed with cool features. The temple displays a dragon energy core. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And we have the names of our minifigures here. It includes Kai, I'm going to say Nia, could be Naya, Cole, and then two golden katanas each. Now, I, I do have to say, I think we're going to have another picture at the top. But these, these minifigures are decked out. Just looking at this little picture here, these minifigures are absolutely decked out. And of course, this is considered a Ninjago playset to collect. How, however, being a playset, it, it still has some really awesome aesthetic design to it, which we'll get for we'll get to uh, further along in when we look at the, the detailed pictures. Enter a new, actually this is inter interesting, enter a new world of building. Builders can zoom in, rotate sets. Oh, this is that's the th 3D tracker, which I think actually my niece, uh, she uses the, the QR code and does the 3D tracker with the instructions on a digital an iPad or some kind of tablet, which I think is really cool for, for the kiddos to use or us if we want to use them as well. Now, as far as the size of this set, I believe it's, yes, it is 16.5 inches tall, 13.5 inches wide, 7.5 inches deep. And it, once again, Lego Ninjago, Lego Ninjago Ignorance, we have a Dragon Energy Core, which I imagine is, it looks like it's something that you can collect. So we have two here. I imagine there's two sets out that have the uh, Lego Ninjago core. So they want you to get the other sets that give you the other cores that can probably go along with this set is my guess. So let's get into the pictures. Look at this bad boy. And I'm actually going to... So I don't cut off any uh, any of your experience here. We're gonna do that. 16 and a half inches tall. That is a, a very large set. And it, 
one thing I noticed, one of the cons right up front is actually a couple pictures ahead, and it's with the back side of the set. Not, not really what we could fully expect. You wouldn't expect a fully three-dimensional, 360 degrees views detail. However, the back side of this set is a little bland. It's kind of open, but I mean, for a play scale set, you're gonna have the kids wanna play in the building. If it's completely 360 degree closed off, kids can't exactly play in the building. So there's the kiddos playing with it. Now I will say, if you're an adult Lego Ninjago fan, you're, you're gonna love this set mainly because it is very displayable. Just look at how beautiful it is. I love the fall colors on the, if we wanna call it a giant bonsai tree. And the architecture of this, of course, Japanese, well, I guess Chinese if they're ninjas. Hopefully I got that correct. Yes, yeah, samurais are Japanese, ninjas are Chinese. So we've got our Chinese architecture influence, which hopefully they got that right. I'm assuming they got it right. Uh, because Lego Ninjago is a movie, I imagine they used Chinese influence for their architecture. So we have a lot going on here, honestly. It looks like there's a couple of stickers. One, two, three, four, five. A lot of stickers, actually. But, oh, I didn't even notice. That must have been the golden scythes or golden swords, katanas that they referenced. So we have one here, buildable. One here, that looks like it's full piece. And oh, that's what they mentioned. Each ninja has two katanas, two golden katanas each, which is awesome. And you in the comments, you're gonna have to let me know who this green guy is. Green's my favorite color, obviously with the influence of you know, the lights, the lights behind me, and the channel overall is very green. Uh, green's my favorite color, so you all will have to let me know who this person is because I have no idea. Once again, this looks like some sort of bell that can swing back and forth. I doubt it makes any noise. But it looks as if you can launch this person off. I imagine that's a bad guy since he's getting launched. Holy smokes! Arm printing alert. That's a beautiful minifigure. Man, you, you Lego Ninjago folks, you guys got some fire sets coming out. Not gonna lie. So the balcony here can launch, which is pretty cool. I imagine we're recreating some awesome scenes from the movie. Also, look at that box art. That box art is a fire with the ninja on the side, ninja on the top, and we have some cool artwork up here with the uh, the dragon and the another Lego ninja, I imagine. Now the piece de resistance. Let's get to these minifigures. Let's see if I can uh, show all of them. I might have to shrink my webcam a little bit so we don't cut off their feet. There we go. Wow, that is, you know what? Let's just do this. That is a stacked, <laughs> a stacked set of minifigures there. So starting from left to right, we have the red colored ninja, the black colored ninja, the blue colored ninja. I, once again, I am so ignorant with who these minifigs are. Uh, I imagine they have names. Actually, it's probably the names Nia, Cole, and one other ninja. I imagine this is Nia in the blue. It looks like there's uh, the female eye liner. Uh, here and we've got the two guys over here. Wow, those are those are some beautiful minifigures uh, coming from mainly Star Wars background. Those head pieces even I think are new, as someone mentioned on the last the last video. So really, with this set, even this this uh, minifigure here, I think this minifigure is going to go for a hefty price on the secondary market. Secondary market, if I can talk, some kind of wolf figure it looks like i don't know if that's gonna be a mask or a full-on head i imagine it's a mask and they have these sweet sweet shoulder pieces uh, gold it looks almost like a metallic gold which is really nice as opposed to the flat gold that some minifigures can get and once again arm printing on this guy that pink that kind of bold pink almost neon-esque in its coloring on the arm prints look fantastic. And of course this cool, uh, we don't see this this hair piece too often, at least I don't. Uh, and we've got some printing on the side of the minifigure's head as well, which looks fantastic. So once again, personally, 
uh, uh, the two major takeaways from this set are the architecture and the Lego minifigures here look, just look fantastic. For $95 uh, nowadays, I think, I think you're getting a lot. You're getting a lot of value, a lot of bang for your buck with this Lego Ninjago set. If you haven't seen much of this uh, lately, with this one comes out June, so I imagine it was announced at least a month ago, maybe, maybe a couple weeks ago. So this one is uh, relatively new. The All the other sets come out in August. Going from memory there. But let me know in the comments who this green guy is. Uh, this green individual, this green character is. Looks kind of like a monk-ish character. However, I love that green. It matches it matches the, uh, the channel colors, channel color scheme, which is great. So once again, let me know what your favorite part about this set is. For me, it's like I said, the minifigures and the overall architecture. It's looking great. It's looking really good. And once again, uh, if you like this video, I'm starting to like these Lego Ninjago sets. We'll see if it's enough to purchase one or two. We'll see. Uh, Star Wars always has me hook, line, and sinker. But let me know what you thought about this set in the comments. Slap me with some Lego Ninjago lore because I am so ignorant with Lego Ninjago. Hey, maybe I'll, I'm sure the video, the movie's available somewhere. I can kind of get, get into it since I'm kind of getting a little more and more intrigued by these sets. Uh, also, make sure you subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos, we got that weekly update coming next week uh, as we had one yesterday. Looking forward to that. I think it's a fun little dive into the Lego investment community. Once again, thanks for watching and keep us posted. Keep us uh, stick around for the next video.